Yes, sir. Okay. Mm. So today we are going to look at 60 memory cell. But before that, uh, I just want to close one, one additional point that we had with uh, data sheets. If you remember that particular memory, we called it SPHD, single port high density. Hmm? In, in a similar manner, you could have high speed memories also, where the architecture is such that the memory is fast. Hmm? And you could have low power memories also. Where again, the overall architecture is designed such that you consume lesser dynamic power. Hmm? So you could have SPLP, you could have SPHS, you could have uh, similar you know, uh, nomenclatures. Uh, every company again would have something different, but different kind of optimizations are available. On this slide, I've also listed what are the different levers that memory designers use to um, you know, to make such memories there. If you want a high density memory, you will use a very dense memory cell, uh, which would have, because it's very dense, the devices are small, so the memory cell current is going to be low. So memory cell current is low means, current is low means you are slower. Hmm? And because any feature, any additional features means more area, you may not have any, any additional features there. Hmm? High speed memory means large memory cell, so that you can have... Uh, a large current, big drivers, big sense amplifiers, hierarchical architecture so that you can reduce capacitances that are toggling and so on. Similarly, for low power, you could have special low power features like retention circuits or uh, floating bit lines and so on. 